Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today guys we are playing the Grey Death because it's a classic Shadow Hawk and I really 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 like it. Now we are playing uh, the build that is basically made for the Mac. We are playing an AC10 and four medium lasers. We utilize all of the um, all of the energy hard points and of course the ballistic hard point because we have a ballistic cooldown of 10%. We have a ballistic velocity bonus of 10%. We also have an Inosphere AC10 cooldown of 10%. That means we shoot at a 20% faster fire rate than normally. And uh, AC10s are already relatively fast. So that thing pumps out DPS like crazy. Problem is that you shoot once... At a time, you know, 10 damage at a time. That means stay focused at your target, try to bring it down over time and don't let it get back to cover so that you can actually secure the kill. This build is not about burst, it's about staying active and staying in the fight and constantly being engaged with the enemies. We have a three tons of ammo, which is basically enough, and two jump jets as well as a light engine 280. Three double heat sinks to keep the mech cold, and uh, yeah, that's just it. It's a straightforward, nothing crazy, it's just simple. It's very, very simple, but simple is not bad. Now, let's take a look at the skills before we dive into the games, guys. As you can see, we have invested into the firepower tree here. The magazine capacity is there so that we have more longevity in the late game, and we have the laser duration nodes because our medium lasers are basically as strong as our AC-10 when it comes to the DPS. And therefore, I actually wanted to invest something here. You might have seen it already, we are going for maximum survivability, and when I say maximum, I'm not talking about the AMS here, because we don't have an AMS, and I also don't talk about that reinforced casing. What I talk about is hit points, structure, and armor, and that thing is maximized so that we can stay active for longer, that is the thing. We have no operation skill here because you don't need it, that's really cool. We save some skill points here and we have 60% rate of deprivation as well as a double artillery loadout on top of uh, a cool shot, I believe. That's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming and if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing Conquest on the Canyon Network. I'm going to go to Kappa because this is where the lights and mediums are going and maybe we can get some nice damage out there. Uh, I will go to Kappa and uh, yeah, that's what we do here. We also have an Assassin with us, which is a good mech. Good mech to play with and play on, on his side or fight on his side here. Uh, wait, who's that? Uh, yeah, in the back, in the back. They've seen me. Boo! That was bad. Boo! That's what we do here. We're going to take cover though. Because I don't want to get shot by those guys so much anymore. Alright, now, Timber, still here. Timber with Alpha all by himself. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Alpha. Oh, this guy screwed up hard. He's horribly out of position, guys. And we got him. Nice, thank you. That was really good. Maybe he was attracted by me. Maybe not, I don't know. But we got a kill on an enemy heavy mech. That is very valuable. I will come for the Arctic Wolf. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm almost there. Uh, wow, those people. Those people are relentless with the damage. Crazy. Good job. Two enemies down. One of our guys is destroyed though. So let's see what we can do here in the center of the map. People are getting shot at from the right side. Hmm. I want to be in the middle of the fight though. At the same time, it seems to be a Shadow Cat or something here. Hmm. Wasn't easy, we killed the disco. Oh, what, really? We had to disconnect and they killed him? Where did the guy go? He was here. I know it. Canyon Network is really good for a mech with jump jets. That's uh, very, very convenient. There he is. It is actually a Shadow Cat. Yeah, we have a Shadow Cat in the, in the trench. Uh, he's PPCs. And we gotta get up high again. Now I have a pretty good spot being in the flank of the enemy. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna be able to, to shoot wherever I want to. From this point on here. Uh, let's go for the center of the map though. Uh, actually, on golf, on golf, on golf, yeah. There he goes. On the Atlas now. That's, I'm on Nima actually. Nima Atlas. Yeah, he's all by himself there. And we can deal some serious damage to them. Hell yeah, this is looking good. Uh, Atlas, side down. Good. We're gonna drop here because I want to be in the fight again. And honestly, I want to contest the Mad Cat in the outskirts. Uh, there's a Mad Cat in Charlie 4 right side. I'm gonna contest him. Oh, wait. 
Actually, we have a problem here. We have multiples here on the outskirts, Charlie 5. Okay, dropping artillery, trying to get down here. The center should be clear by now. I think the last guys are actually at Charlie 5-ish. Seems like it. Uh, do we shoot legs here? Uh, it seems that's the only thing that we can actually hit. If we hit. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, oh, oh. There's the guy on the right side again. Good thing is that we have an amazing amount of DPS that we can... Oh, throw at him. Still people in Charlie 5, guys. We have people in Charlie 5. Two max. Uh oh. Uh oh. Three max in Charlie 5. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Guys, I need help. I need help. I need help. I need help right now. And I think I dealt a good amount of team damage thanks to the artillery strike. I was calling for help, I know, but this artillery strike actually made him pull back. And that was what kept me alive for the moment. Oh my god, that was important. Alright, lost the laser. Almost lost both of my arms. Almost lost my life here. Let's see. He's uh, basically dead though. All of this thing is uh, jammed and now it's all only a matter of time until we get the kill on him. Nice. Good. Mad dog now. Can we? He's running uh, SRMs and an Ultra 20. Ah, oh, that's what hit me earlier. That guy hit hard. Alright, uh, he's gonna try to run away from us now. Or is he fighting? Yeah, he's fighting! Right side. Right side. Center. Where you go directly for center. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! Down he goes. Perfect. It's time to cap, guys. Let's go. Cool! That was a nice fight. Very intense here. And uh, I still have 21 shots left. That means that we ground to uh, through 60 AC-10 shots. And I have a feeling... I hit a lot of them, which uh, already results in about 600 damage then. Uh, on top of the damage that we dealt with the medium lasers. That was really good. Alright, Echo is... Uh, sorry, Epsilon is already capped. My mech is down to 57%, which is still okay. And we now try to find the last guy. Oh my god, I'm on TV! <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> yeah, so let's go. Sigma is safe. Where's the last guy? Oh, up there, it's the Shadow Cat. Shadow Cat in Delta 2, Echo 3. Yeah, that's it. It's the PPC Shadow Cat from the beginning, guys. I think... Uh, where would he go to? Is he trying to just save his life and get some more damage, or is he trying to actually win the game by capping? I don't think that he can win it, because we are in an 11-3 situation. And as a result, I think I'm gonna hunt him, try to intercept him here in the Echo 3 area. Yeah, that's it. Coming! Let's do it! Let's do it! It's the last enemy! He's very evasive, very elusive, but maybe... Maybe we can get him, maybe we can find him and catch him. Guy is a... Uh, that was the Arctic Wolf from the beginning. Where did he go? Alright, let's see. Oh, there he is. Alright, we found him. He's gonna get pushed back here to the Echo 3 area. So we're gonna try to stay here. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is it. He still has low signal here. Where did he go? There he is. Alright. Cool. Bam. Eh. Not quite. But almost. Come on! Don't 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 jump around so much. I need to hit you. Go for the legs, guys. Go for the legs, and he won't run in anymore. Oh, we just—it went straight through him. What? That last shot, the second last shot, went straight through him. I have no idea why. Was a bad hit registration? Was he kind of wobbling back and forth on that ridge there, being basically phased out of the game? I have no idea. What I do know is that we dealt 71 team damage. <clears throat> Artillery strike, as I was saying, was my desperate defensive measure there, and then my team was pushing forward. Sorry, but we dealt about 700 damage to the enemy. That was more important. Two killing blows, seven assists, one kill most damage dealt, as well as four components destroyed. That's the first round, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, the second game of the day. We are playing the Alpine Peaks. Oh my god, what is that map? I have no idea. Have you ever played this map? I didn't. 
Okay, that's a lie. But it is a map that is not really picked anymore, which is uh, very interesting to play on right now. We want to go to Theta and we want to go there quickly because uh, if we can contest Theta before the enemy is there, we have a huge capture advantage and I want to go there. The enemies are coming from the right side, as you can see, from the India Hotel 7 line. And um, they will probably take the high ground here. Let me quickly tell you this here. This is a high ground and they will go from here to here. So watch that ridge. It's important. It's super duper mega important. I can probably say hello. Mm, I hit him, but I didn't deal damage. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I, I know. It stretched it a little bit. Okay, where do we go? I think I want to contest this here. I want to get on the high ground. And I want to see if I can shoot him a bunch. So we wait until our jump jet fuel is ready again. And here we go. Here we go. I always wondered what would what happen when it comes to jump jets having a determined amount of fuel and that will deplete it at some time. I don't know. I don't know if it, I would, you know, like that or if I would dislike it. Crazy, isn't it? Again, that ridge is full of mechs here. Go for this guy. Again, I want to push them down. I'm not entirely sure if I hit my... Yeah, I hit him correctly. Okay, cool. Good. My artillery strike is coming down. Soon-ish. And uh, we force the enemy to move after this. Shooting. 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 Just dealing 10 damage every time we hit. Okay, another strike is coming down. Very good. And at this time, I think... Go for golf, go for golf, go for golf. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. I'm gonna contest the other guys in the back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's fine. Come on, kill him! Good. Good, good, good. Yeah, I took a lot of damage for um, keeping the enemies in the back busy. And as a result, um, I think we got that kill here very, very nicely, very easily. What's he doing there? Ah, uh, too much... Oh, guys, 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 don't... Oh, we could have we could have contested them easily here. They were completely distracted. Don't, don't just... Man okay, let's go. Let's just go. Ugh, don't just maneuver around. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Instead of making that full circle, we, ha could, have, we could have taken that gap where we got the... Um, where we got the Orion there. Yeah, and now they just, they just completely swivel their heads around. That's not great. Uh, I'm not, not, not um, satisfied with what's happened here. Anyhow, we keep going. I wanted to drop another artillery strike. Couldn't get it. ATMs. It's fine. We could dodge them. As long as we keep doing that, we are fine-ish. Alright, let's go for Echo, guys. Echo, 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 Echo. Right side, Marauder 2. C. Marauder 2. You actually have to say that properly now. Marauder 2, Marauder 2, C. Yeah. People are very slow paced here. That's what I uh, what I was uh, saying earlier. What I tried to say earlier, guys. Just go for it sometimes. You just have to do it. Uh oh. Yep. Yeah. That thing is scary popari. But again, I want to keep up the pressure. I want to say, hello, we are on top here. And you have to maneuver. Can we? Can we actually kill him? Dropping artillery. And Oh, wow. This guy really wants me dead. Oh, let me go down. Let me disengage. Artillery coming down now. We still have a left side and my team actually got them. Okay, six and three. So far, so good. I'm playing it extremely aggressive here. Legs on the Balkan. Yeah, good job. Um, I don't see anybody at Sigma, but we have Charlie here going to cover slowly, as well as some other people. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna die here. Am I? Nope, they are not interested in, uh, in me. Kill the Phoenix Hawk! He really wants me dead! Alright, made it back to cover. Is he going all in? Nope. He cannot because he's dead. He cannot because he's dead. My god, I'm such a one-touch here. One-touch mech? Man, I thought that um, uh, the dragon would push forward again, but he didn't. Down goes the raven. And we are still alive. 36%. Pretty good, I would say. Now, one last enemy. What is that guy? I think I saw a shadow cat earlier. Did anybody kill the shadow cat? Might be the shadow cat that is dead now. Uh, that's still alive now. Man, I cannot talk anymore. I'm so confused today. 
crazy, crazy, crazy. What, Madcat G7? Is that what he said? Oh! Alright, he's right. 1600 meters. I think our piranha will just get the job done before we arrive. But we wanted to go to Epsilon anyway to cap it, so uh, might as well just go with them. We have a thousand meters range. Roundabout. He's gonna turn around and eat you. <laughs> no. I will to get my assist, but we don't get it. That's fine. Piranha got him. And we did it. Sometimes a proper amount of aggression is all you need. And um, I think if we would have pushed after the or kill of or the Orion earlier, we would have gotten it uh, way, way earlier. But, you know, it's a 12-4 situation. We are still very good in terms of uh, not losing that many people here. Alrighty. So, Sigma is being capped. Epsilon is being capped. As soon as we have Sigma decapped, it should be it. There we go. Nice. All right, let's have a look at the end score here. I hope that I didn't deal too much team damage with my artillery strike against the Madcat Mark II earlier. That thing was scary. He was really, really mad at me. Oh, 27. We got uh, 10 assists, 1 kill, most damage dealt, so around about 500 damage and no components destroyed here. But yeah, that was your daily dose for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, go down below to the description. There is the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.